Hi and welcome back to another video here from Computex. Today we are going to cover the team group booth. I was trying to hide from this topic, but we didn't manage to do so. So today we will have to talk about AI, at least some products that are named after AI. And we will start with memory. Who would have thought that also memory can be named after AI? So we have SO DIMM, we have normal DDR5 DIMMs, and also on the left, we have T-Create AI Classic SSDs for PCIe Gen 4 and Gen 5. I'm not quite sure if AI really fits into the topic, even though the products are solid. If you look at the specs, for example, the memory modules that are in this system, it's a workstation, and they try to focus on the AI product line having this, at the same time, high capacity, low latency, and high bandwidth. So all of these three topics are a good, a good direction for memory modules, but you probably have to ask yourself the question if it was necessary to name it after AI. But now I will give you a tour of the other team group products. This video is powered by Seasonic and the new Vertex GX. This ATX 3.0 PSU is rated for 1200 watt and natively supports the new 12 volt high power connector and thus is PCI Express Gen 5 compatible. This is ideal to pair the Vertex GX with the latest RTX 40 Gen, but the three included 8 pin PCIe connectors also allow to use it for example with RX 7000 GPUs by AMD. And the Vertex offers all necessary protection features such as OPP, OVP and OCP. The high efficiency of about 90% at 50% load allows a cold and at the same time very silent operation due to the semi-passive fan. Find out more in the link below. I just thought it might be interesting to ask ChatGPT what ChatGPT thinks about this naming scheme of AI Classic. So I thought, okay, we want to name a new SSD for PCs Classic AI, or AI Classic probably doesn't matter too much. And even the AI tells me that this might maybe not be the perfect naming. So maybe Turbo Drive or Hyperstore or Swift SSD would have been better anyway. But I have to give a team group that the memory modules look very nice, especially those uh, T-Create modules in combination with the Asus Pro Art series. Looks very high quality. So these me memory modules right here, available in black and white. And those are 7248 gigabyte per dual modules and C32 7200. There are also non-AI SSDs from Team Group, so the normal ones, different gens, so Gen 4, Gen 5, uh, different speed, different sizes, with different cooling methods. Highlighted though that they all come with those the copper and graphene stickers to enhance cooling, even though they don't really have a heatsink on it. But apparently this already enhances cooling. It's still not enough, at least for the Gen 5 SSDs. So you need extra cooling, which leads me over to this part right here. And I'm pretty sure you know that I'm a big fan of M.2 coolers. We covered a lot of these in different videos and I can already spot very interesting pieces for the future, for future video content. I think this one is uh, pretty normal. It's just a big passive heatsink. I'm also sure that I already saw this one from a different vendor. So big heat pipe cooler with a fan on front, this time just black and with a team group logo on top. This one is pretty interesting because you can stack multiple of these on top, it's magnetic attaches. I was wondering how high you can stack this to enhance the cooling. Um, interesting design, very interesting. The most interesting of those M.2 coolers is the Waterflow one, the WF01, might also want to call it WTF01. It is a very interesting design though. If we switch to here, you can see the schematics, how it's built. And that is the front side. You have a fan and you have uh, fins to dissipate the heat and on the back side you have a pump. So going back to the cooler itself Fan in front See the fins on the right and if we move to the left here There's a pump hitting in here and that is a very interesting design So it's a closed-loop liquid cooler on just an AIO very tiny space, but contains water I'm curious how good this is and I, w I was wondering how much better this would perform instead of just having more space for the fins, you know, uh, because looking here, you can see a significant amount of space is taken up by the pump. I would say at least uh, 20 to 25 percent of the space is taken up by the pump. So I was thinking if it would just maybe perform better if you would get rid of the pump and just have more fins to dissipate the heat. But that's definitely something. I will try to reach out to team group to get this to test. 
because this is a very interesting design. Team Group also has normal memory modules, non-RGB, T-Force Extreme, different capacity, different designs, white, black, and also, you might laugh, one of my personal highlights, the pink ones. I think they look pretty cool. That's at least something unique, even though it doesn't even have RGB. If you want to go with RGB, they also have these in white and in black. And honestly, these RGB-wise, I think the effect is pretty amazing. It looks almost like a little bit of smoke or dust is trapped inside this acrylic case. So I think the RGB effect, and I'm not sure if you can really see this on the camera, but live, these modules look pretty cool. Team Group also shows their own AIO. The SD part reminds me a bit of the Corsair solution because this is magnetic detachable. Basically, this one is the base version, and if you want to go with the LCD version, this one just comes on top. I think this will also be available separate, so you can also get the base version first, and then if you want to get the upgrade kit later on. Also for testing especially, I'm not sure if I would put this into a system visually, not sure if I'm a big fan, but visually. Uh, for cooling, if you want to run a test bench, especially with DDR5, once it's overclocked, running higher voltage, you might want to have additional cooling on your memory modules. And this solution is pretty cool because it's easy to uh, remove, detach, um, yeah, align, depending where you want to have your airstream. And it's also easy to mount using the ATX screws of your motherboard. So especially for a test bench, I can see that this could be quite handy. You can just lift it off if you want to remove the memory modules and then put it back down. So that is a pretty cool solution, especially for test benches. You can escalate this even further with M.2 cooling by adding an AIO dedicated to your M.2 SSD. And if you think about that typical M.2 SSDs, even Gen 5, they dissipate about 6 to 10 watt maybe. That's pretty wild. That is pretty wild. But Team Group is going to send this to us and we are happily testing this in another M.2 cooler roundup. They also showed case fans, 140 on the bottom, normal non-RGB fan and 120 RGB fan right here with a ring around it. This again is the same cooling solution for memory modules that we saw on the other system, just also in white available if you want to. And again here we have the Team Group AIOs, same as we saw on the different system with the detachable magnetic LCD screen. Team Group originates from SSD and also flash media. And that's also what they show here. So T-Create SSDs, they have different versions like this one, which is a little bit more rigid. And then they also have versions that you can directly uh, attach to a camera like mine for content creation. This can be quite useful if you run around a show like this and you need extra storage, then you can take their dedicated camera SSD and directly attach it to the camera. That might be useful if you're running out of storage, but that is something I'm just gonna cover on the side. I hope you enjoyed this uh, interesting AI video and we will look around what other AI content we can find for you. Thanks for tuning in, see you next time, bye bye.